we 19. Uh, one guy got sick and they couldn't go. And then one guy hit the sea and lost his bum. That was Jeff Wright, Rice. And Les Monroe got over the coast and his uh, intercom was shot out. He couldn't talk to anybody. So he had to come back. And I think it turned out there was 16 planes. Oh, okay, so 19 left, but then three were disabled. Or yeah. so, so there's all, so there's 16 of 16 of you, and of the six, and so then that means that of the 16 that actually completed the mission or, or flew the mission, oh, they got the bomb here or something. Like that. that means that half half were either you know shot down or yeah. or wow. But the, I mean, but at the time while you're doing it, are you kind of, you're doing your job, are you kind of impervious to that, to that sort of thing, or do you, are you scared to death, or? Oh, you're scared all the time, but, uh, yeah. you know, we, your friends will get killed, and mm -hmm. one night, well, the night the Dortmund ends with this, uh, Guy Holden, he was our wing commander, and he, he got us up too high. We we're going to this little town, Germany, and, and he went up. And they say in the books that uh, Mickey Martin was one side and we were on the other side. And they said that uh, they stayed down, like Mickey Martin and Knight stayed down, but didn't. When Holden went up, everybody, we were firing formation, we went up too. And they shot this guy, hit him with a tank, I guess. and. He just went burst into flames. Mm -hmm. He went in front of us, like right close. I was almost reaching for my front door. Oh my gosh! And, I, and then he had the wing commander's uh, Gibson screw. What was left of it? Uh, he had, I think, three or four guys from from the dam raid. And that, the other guys, like Trevor Roper, the weird gunner, he had gone somewhere, and somebody else had gone. But but anyway, there was. What was left of Wing Commander School was, they all went in. Uh, Terry Tam was. And that's nothing to do with anything, but to, that's the hardest thing I ever did. When I was on, they sent me back to the West Coast, and and Mrs. Tarim, uh, Terry's mother, found out that I was a damn raid, and that I, I guess I was, I saw Terry get, go down in, in flames, and she said, Do you think? He had a chance to, to bail out, and I said, no, he, there was no chance. And and she was there with her daughter, and they just wept, and they couldn't believe uh, it. And it was it was really hard. Just, yeah, yeah. But that kind of stuff is, uh, and, but you, you know, you can't let it bother you, because if you do, you can't do it, Yeah, I think. Yeah, the more yeah. they got killed, the better. But now I, you know, I feel different. But yeah, because those poor people there didn't have any more to do with war than we did, really. Yeah, yeah. But one thing I, that I impressed me was that when I was in Holland and the people were helping us, you know, people take you in their house and help you and feed you and what well, they didn't have to feed you with, but they give you what they had and they and they just couldn't they couldn't do enough for us mm -hmm. but that and, and then they were so mistreated by the Germans mm -hmm. at that time I changed my mind I said we, we've we've got to win this war no matter what the cost is we got to win we can't we can't live like that if we come yeah. and I think well, I think the United States coming in was just saved everything. Mm.